And we're officially underway from Red Bull Arena. Tyler Terrence along with U.S. Soccer Hall of Famer Tony Miola. Thank you so much for joining us here on ESPN Plus and WGN. And Eber unable to score a goal just yet in MLS regular season play. They have had some experience in Champions League early this year as well as this one has slipped through for Eber. Sparrow off of his line. Eber gets there. A touch from Sparrow it looked like and then the follow-up from Keaton Parks. They can't finish it off. Just slip a ball in between two defenders, Sekulic and Pineda, ball watching, Calvo comes over, here's the initial save, and then Parks with the foul. Allen with him, and it's NYCFC who come away with it. That's a good step in the middle of the field from Madron. Long range effort, and Sean Johnson just needed to parry it away and had way too much pace on it from Fabian Herbers to try to catch it, and a corner kick coming up for the five. The end result is Aben Evers. Terrific entry pass, here's Alisade on the turn. Numbers running with him. Alaseda still with it. Back across, and Sean Johnson needed to get down in time. He wasn't completely set, but makes the save at the near post. Wasn't a bad look for Matarita. Marks takes it on the first time, and it just sneaks past Sparrow. Flag stays down. Keaton Parks able to beat Sparrow at the far post. And NYCFC lead it one to nil. I have a good look at it here. Too easy to pick out players. And watch Sekulic a little bit behind Pineda. And that's where he keeps Keaton Parks on side. And an easy call for the referee here. As a run through the midfield. This is two or three times we've seen it. A good ball played in by Matriza. Pineda doesn't come over nearly quick enough and give the effort that you'd want to see. Maybe a slide tackle to cut off that back post. For the goalkeeper, nothing Sparrow could do here. Corner whipped in. It was a free one, and it's off the post. Chanel was left all alone, and he cracks the woodwork. I keep an eye on this one. Boy, this has to be better marking here by the Chicago Fire, and it looked like Sekulic maybe was the man marker. It's an awkward deflection off his forehead, and now NYCFC off to the races. Here's Matuzza. Working on Sekulic, cuts inside, Matruzza going for goal, Sparrow makes the save, follow-up from Medina, and it's on the wrong side of the post. Columbus, Clank went off the crossbar, it's a little bit of a touch. Good job by Connor Sparrow. We'll see a rotation on the ball there, there's the change of rotation. Good positioning. Get some more chance here, some more opportunities, some more chances to score goals throughout this game. But again, they'll have to be a little tighter defensively. Well, here they go on the other end. Squared back for Peretz. Takes it on the first time, and what a save that is from Sean Johnson. Totally caught going the other way. Makes a kick save and keeps it a one-nil. Johnson is Alisade. cuts his defender here. Gets around Maxime Chanel. We talked about Barrett's getting on the board. This was his opportunity here right before the stroke of halftime. And Both keepers have had to make huge saves on the night. Sparrow and Johnson. This one sent through. It should be in, and it is! It's Mauricio Pineda. Johnson couldn't keep it out. And the Bully Brook native makes it 1 1 just before halftime. Well, there's that continued run at the back post. We saw it against the Seattle Sounders down in MLS's back. On Johnson, there you see Pineda right in the middle of the screen. Nobody paying attention. Eber at the back post, keeping him on side. He's about a yard. Good flick on it. Might have been even Keaton Parks that flicked it on here with pressure from Calvo, nonetheless. And it was Francisco Calvo there with the assist. Pineda the most alert at the back post. Be a like-for-like like substitution there with Matriza. A little bit surprised by that substitution, but he's a guy that changes games, as you mentioned. One of the better attacking players in all of Major League Soccer. Awkward play over on the far side. NYCFC come away with it. Sands along for Tinnerholm. Navarro pokes it away only as far as Morales. They'll close him down quickly. Tinnerholm, daylight, and he gets it by Sparrow. Tinnerholm with a tidy finish, and NYCFC retake the lead 2-1. to one. And Just what you were talking about with Maxi Morales. Patience at the top of the box. Everyone's converging on Morales. Tinnerholm, loads of space. Has eyes for that far post. Connor Sparrow maybe needs to spread himself out instead of going with his feet first, but it's a good finish here. As everyone convert, converges on that man, Maxi Morales. He picks out the pass. Out the right pass. 
Parks finding Medina, back for Parks, sends it through, Eber on the turn! Oh, how on earth did he miss it? That's been the story of 2020 for Eber, and it remains 2-1. Goals, and they're playing 5v2 right now. And between handballs and offside these days, Tyler. And <laughs> it's anybody's guess. Yeah, there's good pressure here. Look at the pressure and hustle from Collier. Goes for goal and it's cleared off the line. Uh, this play was made out of nothing. He continued his run. Ball bounces over Collins. and Pineda gives it away. Maxi Morales looking for a quick hitter. Castellanos. 1v1 with Calvo, Castellanos from distance, parried away by Sparrow, it's a good save at the near post. Tinnerholm, great little feint, goes through the legs of Navarro, Tinnerholm all the way across, first time effort! What a goal that is from NYCFC, Alex Ring at the back post, beautifully sculpted out by Anton Tinnerholm, and NYCFC take a 3-1 lead with 15 minutes remaining. Aaron Ring, you'll see him drifting at the back post. He's at the top of the box right now. Sekulic is six yards away from him. He megs Navarro here. I'm not sure Alexander Ring hit it exactly like he wanted it to, but it was the result he wanted, and that was ending up in the back of the net, as you mentioned, to give NYCFC a 3-1 lead. Alex Ring with his second goal in as many games, both against the crew and the fire. They put themselves right back into the playoff conversation. Well, it is still early. Castellanos sees Sparrow off of his line, chips it over him. And Pineda is going to be able to clear it off the line as Castellanos thought he was fouled. And we're knocking on the door of the final moments of this one. And Rubiel Vasquez will bring this one to a close here in Harrison, New Jersey. A valiant effort from the fire to be sure. They got an equalizer right before half.